welcome to our another video let us introduce ourselves my name is Laras and my name is Hamza okay in this video we are gonna talk about a quarter life crisis so what's your definition about the quarter life crisis Hamza? so I think quarter life crisis is a crisis that you have when you're in your 20s mm. um, I think it could start earlier than that as well mm. maybe when you're as early as 18 mm. which is usually when most people finish school mm. um, and I think it could go up to like your 30s but then that's like more like a midlife crisis yeah. so quarter life is like that from late teens until 20s mm. is okay. your crisis of what you're doing with your life mm. And for me, I think same as Hamza. Mm. So quarter life crisis is basically when you are finish your school. Yeah. So after the high school, which is eighteen, maybe eighteen yeah. years old, yeah. until twenty five, maybe. <clears throat> because at that time, a lot of things has changes in your life, mm. and you need to figure it out what you're gonna do because nobody told you what you're gonna do when you are go into the adult stage yeah but a lot of things a lot of research a lot of sources also give you an idea what you're gonna do when you are being a teenager mm. especially uh, when you're a teenager mm. after you go to uni mm. you're just kind of let to do whatever yeah and it can be a bit like overwhelming yeah for most people yeah because you're just kids a few months ago, you were just kids, mm. and now you're suddenly adults, and you yeah. have to make your own decisions. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. And then, have you already experienced a quarter life crisis in your life? Um, I think so. Mm. So I went to you need to do art to mm. do graphic design. Um, then after I graduated, I worked in graphic design for a couple of years, but it wasn't really what I expected. Mm. So I had to like make very quick decisions. Mm and think about what I wanted to do instead. Mm. So I applied for like a teaching position here in mm. Indonesia. And then I did like a teaching course mm. and I switched careers. Okay, good. So it was like, it was a good switch, I think. It was, I made some good decisions, but I had to think very quickly mm. and there wasn't really like a lot of guidance mm. and stuff. So I had to just basically think like what was the best thing for me. Yeah, but what you consider about before you switch to another thing which is way much different from mm. your background. I mean, how can you convince to yourself that, okay, this is going to be good. This is mm. going to be better in the future that I will not regret it later on. I didn't really think about it, to be honest. Um, I was just in a position where things were very competitive and i just wanted to get out of that basically so teaching was it seemed like the kind of thing that i could do and it wasn't as competitive as graphic design so i felt like i could do it so i just went for it mm. and it wasn't really it seemed like a good deal because if you're a native speaker and you come to another country uh, what they call tefl teaching if you're a tefl teacher most employers will pay for your flight and your accommodation sometimes and the salary you get is pretty good so it didn't really seem like that much of a risk like it's basically not really free but it's free like they pay for your flight and they pay for your accommodation mm. so it's kind of like a very it was kind of low risk mm. the only thing that was risky was i was going to be in an alien country and far far away from home yeah. so that was a bit scary but i lived abroad from the uk before so it wasn't i don't know i was willing to take the risk i don't know why Okay, so what about you? Have you ever experienced a, what we call, quarter life crisis? Of course. Mm. It starts since I finished my school. Mm. At that time, I don't know what kind of major that I want to take. So I just, I, I, was I, was told, I was thinking like, I want to do something that I will never really regret in the mm. future, which is not good. I mean like, life is a dynamic phase and everything gonna be changed along the way i mean the thing that you choose right now it doesn't mean shows or picture what you're gonna be in the future so yeah if you already okay for something 
better just to take it, I think. Mm. And then when I finished my university also, I got confused. Yeah. Because I got confused that I really like this or not. Do I just feel afraid of myself? Mm. Or I don't know. Just about those things. I mean, life will always be like that. Yeah. Yeah, you'll always have like uncertainty yeah. in life. Sometimes you just have to, as corny as this sounds, sometimes you just have to take the risk, mm. pretty much. Um, why do you think quarter life crisis is such a big deal? Why do you think um, your 20s are like so important? Because in the 20s, this is the time that you start to build many things mm. your career, yeah. your relationships, and many more. I mean, this is like if a kid has a golden age, this is a golden age in human phase in life. Yeah. I mean, and then this is the time that you don't have any much responsibility unless yourself. Most of mm. people, they are still living with their parents. They are still young. They are still able to do many things, which a lot of opportunities is yeah. open for them. A lot of pressure as well. Yeah, a lot of, a lot pressure, of pressure. Like also. people, especially older people, Mm. Of course, they're just looking after us, mm. but a lot of older people tell us like, Oh, you're young, do this, mm. make the most of your yeah. youth, make the most of your time. And it's, yeah. a, it's like a lot of pressure. Like you meet somebody like on the bus or something mm. and they're like, Oh, how old are you? Yeah. And like, Oh, you should do this. You yeah. should go out and seize the day. Don't waste yeah. your time. Like, it's good advice, but it's like, it's very, builds pressure a lot. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then we have been through, I mean, a lot of people also been through a quarter life crisis, mm. either they realize it or not. Yeah. Yeah. So any kind of like advice that you want to tell them that mm. what they should do during this time? Mm. I think um, it's okay to not be sure, mm. especially if you're in your early 20s mm. or if you've just finished high school or college, if you want to go to university and you don't know what to do, mm. like what subject to take at uni, I think it's not a big deal. Mm. It's very, very normal. A lot of people have this problem. A lot. It's very, very common to have this problem. And the thing is, when you have it, when you have this problem, you think you're the only one. Yeah. Because you see your friends going off to uni, doing this, doing yeah. that. But there are people in the wider world mm. who are in the same boat as you. Yeah. So. Um, it's okay and you should just try a bunch of stuff mm. like may, for example if you want to go to uni and do a certain subject maybe try doing a volunteering in that subject mm. to see if you like it or maybe try doing like a short course mm. or just go online and learn about it that's what I did yeah. when I did graphic design I did, before I went to uni I didn't really know much about graphic design mm. but I went online and I searched like graphic design and like how to do graphic design and what graphic design really is mm. and so I was able to educate myself a little bit and then that informed me of my decision to do yeah, it. Exactly. What about you? What would you say to somebody who is having a stressful experience? Just take it easy but mm. never ever lock yourself in a room mm. or in a house alone because yeah. it will make your stress getting bigger mm. to just go out. <laughs> Find a lot of people, find a lot of friends that you think they are valuable to be meet and ask them about many things. Or maybe when if you were close with your teachers or your parents or any other people who is has more experience than you, just go talk to them and tell them you have a problem about this. Mm. I think they will be willing enough to help you through of this. Yeah, Please. people people are very helpful. Usually. Yeah, people are very helpful. Especially if you have like older friends. Yeah. Then, I mean, they are they're older than you, so they yeah. they've been through this before. Mm. Okay, I think that's all that's of all. our video. Okay. So if you have any idea about your quarter life crisis and you want to share it to people, just leave it in the comment below, so a lot of people can read it yeah, and take lesson from each it. Other. Yeah, we can help each other. So, don't forget to subscribe mm -hmm. and, and like, like and share to your friends. Share to your friends. See you. Bye. Bye.